Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Blackbird, issue number two. Now, I got a whole lot of good things to say about this comic book, nothing negative. So, if you don't like this comic book, not the review for you. In the meantime, let's talk about who made this comic book so I could talk about all the awesome things in the comic book. Here we go. Artist, Jen Partell, and she also did the main cover. Uh, writer, Sam Humphreys. Layout artist, Paul Reinwand. Uh, Triona Farrell did the colors, and the le le excuse me, the letters was Jody Wynn. The designer was Dylan Todd. Uh, variant cover Ming Zhu and Helen Chen. Okay, so um, man, I I think I really got to start learning the name of these people. Um, Marissa is the um, is this girl who was kidnapped recently. And uh, what the heck is the name of this? Can't, why can't I seem to remember? Nina. There we go. Nina's the blue-haired girl. The Blackbird herself, apparently. I think this is a case of mistaken identity. I kind of had that idea in the previous issue. But um, I'm pretty certain of it now. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that Marissa and Nina were confused. Like, who was actually supposed to be the Blackbird? Or who was actually supposed to be the, uh, the main witch, mage, paragon? However you want to look at it. Um, but yeah, um, what do you call it? Marissa got kidnapped and Nina is still here trying to figure out through her drug induced. I, I, I think also that the idea that if she stays off the drugs, she's able to see things better. She's able to use the magic better because anytime that you start to convolute your head, that's a, a pretty, pretty big deal. Um, weird as it may sound, I actually used to study the occult and I do know people who didn't have a great time of things, or at least they never advanced in the theories better when they were actually on the drugs. They thought they did, but they weren't really able to understand anything else while they're, and, and I'm usually talking about like peyote and things like that. Um, anyway, and all sorts of other opioids, but, um, all that being said, that, that's just my understanding of what I'm reading here. Basically, Nina goes through as many steps as possible, tries to lie and and deceive her way through trying to find out where this dude is who is a paragon. She gets in. She comes to realize that she might actually be a mage herself, you know, a paragon herself. She's got some abilities. Um, uh, I guess that the, uh, the, the, the signet, the, 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 the bracelet that she uses, I guess those things act as a wand. That's actually not such a bad thing to be able to channel your power and things like that. That's actually kind of cool. But we're discovering that her mom was actually a witch. Her cat, <laughs> um, meow, meow, anyway, some kind of, um, uh, uh, what do you call it, Spanish way of saying that name. Very cool. The cat lies. I think through necessity. The cat is forced to lie. And basically like um is saying use the gem one of the gems that you got she got three gems we got to find out what the gems actually do um she got a little girlfriend uh, i don't know if it's an actual sexual you know potentially sexual relationship or not don't actually care either way but she's definitely got a girlfriend in uh one of the paragons and i like that little relationship how it started uh, I, I also dig how the, the bodyguard is not having her. <laughs> he just does not like her. And he's a genuine mean SOB. Um, uh, what do you call it? It's one thing to be a big guy, but if you're a big guy, or even if you're a small guy who's got a major scar like on your face, that's a frightening person. Because that's somebody who can take an immense amount of pain and continue with life. And potentially end yours. <laughs> so th this dude is drawn expertly a genuinely terrifying individual um what do you call it yeah this this is such a good comic book i'm gonna make a statement and i hope that issue three doesn't disappoint me all right and send me reeling but right now this might be the best non big two comic book so the best indie comic you know it's not true indie it, it, it's image comics you know um, so it's not a Marvel or a DC, so a non-Marvel DC, this might be the best comic that's out there besides those two big companies. This is really good. This is, like, this comic book is fire right now. The, the first issue was good, good enough to make me pick up the second issue. The second issue is just as hot, man. Wow, I am digging on this, all right? I might like this better than Baby Teeth. Baby Teeth has got 10 issues deep, all right? Actually, 12, right? 12 issues, or it's just, ah, take that hammering home. Um, Dark Ark is on a break. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, woo.
Oof, this is good. Like, this is really good. So I am definitely enjoying this. Um, hope to sing more. Hope that it just, it doesn't have to get better. Like, literally, this comic book does not have to get better. It just has to stay the course and just continue being this cool, man. Um, this is like a frightening moment for me because it's terrifyingly good. And I'm afraid that it's all just going to be like, and eh, now it sucks. <laughs> but here's to hoping that doesn't happen, right? Anyway, guys, definitely consider grabbing this comic book. Professor Bill Comic Book University. Class dismissed.